Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back into the channel. Christian Lim here. So today we're gonna review the uh, burrito bag from Columbus Bags PH and I'm gonna tell you what I like about it and I'm gonna tell you how they can improve this product but overall this is really really good bar bag. Stick till the end of the video. So I apologize for the noise. It is in fact raining. That's why I'm not riding my bike. I do actually love to ride my bike in the rain but for now I'm gonna give you a review of this bag. Um, first and foremost, it's 800 pesos. It's um, 8 by 4 inches in size. I'm not pretty sure how many, uh, how much volume can you put in there, but it's quite hefty and it's enough for me. It's more than enough for me. It's made in Marikina, which is which I totally love because this product is locally made. So uh, as always, if we have local products, especially if it's competitive against imported brands, then we should totally support it and so i started my interest in bar bag just when the pandemic came after everything got opened up for riding i got interested in adventure riding so if you've seen my uh, previous vlogs i've been to waterfalls and uh, to places where i haven't been into uh, just because i just want to explore on my bike more rather than just going fast and trying to uh, and trying to get fit because uh, for now that takes a backseat because there's no real races that's coming up in the calendar so um, I'm leaning on enjoying the bike more rather than working out so uh, I started to look for bar bags so that I could carry more stuffs during my ride and so I started seeing my friends in Facebook um, sporting one of these made by Rock Bros you can get this you can get this in Lazada or Shopee at around I don't know 500 pesos initially i was happy with it it was well made it looks really really sleek it is waterproof and um, the the zippers are well built and they hide really really well but unfortunately as i have used this over time i have come to hate it because uh, there are a lot of things that i didn't like about this product and so the first one being is that this thing is darn too long uh, if I put this on the bars, this is almost as uh, wide as my bars so I couldn't grip the bars on top of the hoods because this thing is there and it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of a bit annoying if you can't put your hand in that position and you want to relax on the climb. So that's one thing. And my biggest gripe about this one is that the straps are not well centered. If you can see, there's a little bit of space here and there's a little uh, there's a very big space here so what happens if this is on your bike and when you try to lean over to your right uh, the heavy stuff that is inside will move over to this section and then what happens is that this kind of falls off and it gets stuck right there and it will really look ugly because this part right here will sag so um, it's not very pleasing to the eye um, it's a minor thing but you know you're always looking at your handlebars because it's in, it's in front of you so it kind of it, it kind of is a bit annoying and um, another thing is that this thing is too long but the zippers are short so if you like put long things in there you're gonna have a hard time pulling that out because it it will get stuck you're gonna end up using this zipper right here uh, to fish it out which you can't do while on the bike but overall this is a good product to begin with um, just not what I like and so that brings me into this burrito bag which is exactly what I need and um, I really really like this product and I believe you will really like this product as well um, as you can see the the length is just right it has enough space to put three fingers on top of the, the hose it's just enough for me so that I can grab on it while climbing um, it's it's very sleek it looks fashionable and trendy so the real purpose of this one is going long and carry extra stuffs with you and some essentials for your long ride or your for your adventure riding and as you can see the straps are centered so the bag is dead centered in your bars which is kind of pleasing to look at um, it also has this um, elastic strap that you can hook behind your stem or under the head tube so that this one will not move forward a lot or will not shake you can tighten this with this uh, with this uh, I don't know bungee cord stopper I don't know what that thing that thing is called but it works really really well 
and as I've said it's um, it's small enough to fit on my 34 C bars uh, with me just being able to put my hand right there so that I can rest my hand when I'm climbing and it's small enough to look small and elegant without being too baggy it's just enough for your essentials so I'm a roadie by the way I don't carry a lot of stuff with me during the ride and this bag right here is just enough for my needs um, I still have my jersey pockets and it's very very refreshing to move that extra bolt that usually is in your back pocket and move it into the burrito bag that frees up a lot of space in your back pocket uh, for me I just have to put my phone money and this GoPro in my back pocket and other essentials into that bag so that frees up a lot of space and also since there's not a lot in there in your back pockets um, your jersey will become more breathable uh, you will feel much much more comfort because there's no heat building up in your lower back and um, Finally, it also is very beneficial. Uh, you're somebody who likes to ride with uh, premium jerseys like Rafa or Black Ship Cycling. Those kind of jerseys, those are very uh, delicate fabrics. You're gonna end up overstretching your back pockets and then that's gonna wear out the fabric of your jersey very, very soon if you always travel full pack with your jersey pockets. And so the stuff that I put in here actually varies. Uh, usually I put my GoPro's tripod in here. I'll put some extra batteries and an extra SD card. Um, my wallet should be in here. I, 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 I put some repacked Vitargo. What else? Um, uh, well, anything that I feel that is essential to my long ride. If I am to upgrade this or if I am to, to, to add something that will make this product better, I would put side pockets side mesh pockets like the kai venture uh, bar bag that's made in california so that uh, if i have like a chocolate or if i have like uh, something that i want to grab that i can grab right away um, it's there um, another thing is that i would put another zipper front zipper like this one right yeah from the rock bros this is actually very very nice so that i can put some maybe some loose change or you know some identification card just in case um, but overall uh, for 800 pesos this is a very good product um, as you can see there's a liner inside so uh, if you put food in there that's uh, cold or that's hot it will retain the warmth or the coolness of whatever you put in here and as I've mentioned it's very very small uh, it's enough for my needs um, and it looks very very elegant and um, and I'm um, so far so good this bag has really passed my expectations so if you want one I'll link their Facebook page in this video I'll also link Mark's um, Facebook page so that you can contact him right away and so if you're a fan of this product as well and there's something I missed if there's something I didn't point out uh, kindly just put it in the comment section below um, I'll see you on the road or I'll see you in the next vlog